Thank you for coming, champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire. Which leaves me in a difficult position. She is not entirely wrong. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her. But I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. What are they doing? All I know is numerous mages have left the circle at night, sometimes for days at a time. I'd rather not follow our knight commander by leaping to the worst possible conclusion. But the idea of blood magic has crossed my mind. Fear of the Templars doesn't justify going soft on blood mages. I don't know if they're using blood magic or just visiting their families. All I know is that a meeting is happening tonight in Hightown. I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. So I shouldn't slit my wrists and dance naked under the moonlight just to fit in? I would not recommend it. Just learn the nature of this meeting. You needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not. Or Meredith will have what she needs to justify the right of annulment. Darkhaven called for its lost prince, Sebastian. Would you give up if the city has moved on? Like Ferelden moved on after Caelan. You've been reading. It's a good tale. King Alistair is particularly inspiring. But I doubt that's how you see me. I don't intend to let anyone die restoring me to my place, Aveline. The risks are mine. And that will have to satisfy you. It was well said. I give you that. We'll see. Someone's coming. The champion. We know you're spying for Orsino. Run. We'll handle this. than this.
I'll pass. I told you he was after us. No, not him. I can't do this. Two arms! Tr I told them not to do it, I swear. If I knew you were the one they were talking about, I'd have warned you. I don't hold with kidnapping, not after what I went through. Didn't I save your life? You did, believe me. I still dream about those blood mages. I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd never have let them kidnap anyone I knew was one of yours. Tell me the truth. I'm in no mood for games. They said someone was spying. We needed leverage. Someone they cared about. As a hostage. We just got word they took some lad from the Grey Wardens. You bastards kidnapped my brother! We weren't going to hurt him. Just make sure you left us alone. Do you understand? Thrask says Meredith will cause open war with the mages if she stays in charge. We have to take her down. Is Thrask the one running this conspiracy? He's the one who brought us together. For six years he's been working, one mage, one Templar at a time, teaching us we don't have to hate each other. He showed us Meredith isn't the only way. Is this whole thing to oust the Knight Commander? She needs to go, don't you see? We need a real Viscount and Templars who protect mages, not massacre them. Just look what Thrask accomplished. Mages and Templars working together. Isn't that what we all want? I thought you'd be the last person to join a conspiracy of apostate mages. They aren't apostates. They want the Circle. They want it to work like it's supposed to. To protect them. The mages aren't the problem. Meredith is. The Knight Commander needs to go. That's what Thrask says. Without her, we have a chance at peace. What are you going to do to Thrask? To me? I'm not getting involved in this. Let the Templars decide what to do with you. No, please. If Meredith learns about this, she'll kill us. She'll kill every mage, even if they weren't involved. Your, your friend is on the wounded coast. We use the ruins there as a base. Meredith should hear about this. I'll go back to Marcia's. Please, don't tell Meredith about me. It would kill Marcia if I got in trouble.
You need to seek atonement. I know I should have died there, not Marathari. Don't you think I feel guilty enough? Guilt isn't a punishment. It's a reminder there are things you haven't said right. The only way to shed its burden is to repent with a sincere heart and rectify your failings. But how? The Keeper is dead. My clan lost everything because of me. There's not enough I can do in this lifetime to make up for that. It was your pride that led you to the demon. Admitting what you can't do is a good first step. You've been sticking your nose in every problem in Kirkwall since you stumbled off the boat. Are the mages here using blood magic? It always comes down to that, don't it? They claim innocence, demand equality, but back them into a corner and they got options we don't. Haven't found a mage yet who won't take it. I'm looking for Thrask. You don't sound happy. Last I heard, you two were close. So were we once. Of course, that was before Meredith kicked me out of the Templars. Thrask knew she was a bitch then, but he still thought he could change things from the inside. I hoped he would. Secret nighttime meetings and grandiose conspiracies aren't going to win this. Truth. This whole thing's done wrong. Mages are raising the bloody dead. And Thrask just looks the other way. I'm too much Templar still to swallow that. I'd hoped with Meredith gone I could take up the shield again. But maybe she was right. Give him a hint of freedom, mages go bad. Your friends are right. Without Meredith, Kirkwall can be at peace again. You cannot think the Knight Commander is worse than blood mages. I'd cheer to see her ship to Val Royo. But I don't have the stomach to turn against all that's right and natural to do it. it was too much to hope that he wouldn't have come here. Though I cannot understand why you support Meredith still. It was not the Circle that kept Fainreal safe from demons. It was you. Please, Champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. I will not negotiate until Carver is standing beside me. I will not harm your brother. We will release him the moment I have your word that you will support us. No. The boy dies. Then the champion. Stand down, Grace. Grace? Wasn't she one of the mages you turned in almost six years ago? We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith? What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. You hurt my brother. You die. I would rather die a hundred times than endure one more hour in the circle. I have been counting the days to get my revenge. Elaine, kill the hostage. I... I don't know, Grace. I guess a life of quiet contemplation didn't suit you. 
This isn't right, Grace. Meredith's the one you should hate. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. No. No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. Forget the hostage. Kill the champion. <laughs> I tried to stay away from her, you know, after Decimus. But the circle here is worse than Starkhaven ever was. It seemed like hers was the only way out. I... I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold him. There's no other way to wake him up. Out of my... What? Where am I? I promise, I'll never let anything like this happen again. Thank you, brother. It seems I am again in your debt. And Shadow. They're meeting in here, Sir Callan. Oh, I guess you didn't get on so well with these mages as you thought. Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. The Champion's a good man, sir. He tried to solve things peacefully. Yeah. Put the mage to questioning. The boy stood up to his elders when they would have killed an innocent hostage. Hmm. <laughs> you mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I'll encourage Meredith to take it easy on him. Thank you, Champion. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, champion? If you killed every man who doubted Meredith's fitness, Kirkwall would be a ghost town. You think that reason enough to spare blood mages and their willing dupes? <sighs> Perhaps some of them might still be saved.
Aveline, what's in your mirror? What do you mean? In your mirror? What do you see? A warrior? A wife? All the mistakes I made to get here and make it right. Why? What have you decided to see? My mirror is broken. But I think... I think I see good things. Maybe a headband. The Knight Commander agreed to show mercy to those found conspiring with Sir Thrask. But surely you're the only mage in Kirkwall who can approach the Knight Commander directly, if you wished. What would you have of me? What is the Knight Commander doing about the conspirators? The mages have been confined to their quarters and sedated. The Templars have been suspended without pay. That is as lenient as we dare be. I just wanted to see how an old friend is doing in this difficult time. After what happened in Ferelden, I told myself I would never again question the purpose of the Order. But it grows harder each day to tell whether I'm serving the Templars or only the Knight Commander. It may be that they are no longer one and the same. Your mage Templar group was conspiring to overthrow Meredith. I have a sudden deep regret I interfered. <sighs> you know, I was half convinced Meredith had engineered the whole thing to trick me into incriminating myself. Thrask admitted to leading the group. Perhaps I've exaggerated the depths of her madness. But if she's not there yet, she will be soon. The only question is, once it's clear she cannot lead, Will there be anyone left to oppose her? Please accept this as my thanks. It will be of more value to you right now than my friendship. <laughs> 